presenting Triple Pundit and the Canvan at this craft brewers conference in San Diego. And we're here with Fal Allen of Anderson Valley Brewing Company to talk about Anderson Valley's interest in sustainability or low impact brewing or renewable resource management. Yeah. Uh, so tell us what that means to Anderson Valley. Well, sustainable is always kind of this, I thought, misleading word because, I mean, sustainable means it can go on indefinitely. And without outside energy, you can't really do that. But what we like to do is be as low impact as we can. Um, so for example, we put in solar panels that produce about 40% of our electricity. And we're putting a new building in now, and when it gets done, we'll put solar panels on top of that and hopefully get that percentage up a little bit, maybe to 60% of our, of our electrical energy use. So That's really good. Yeah, that's pretty good. And th I hope we can do that. Uh, but as we get busier, we use more electricity, obviously. Um, you know, we're, we're out in a valley by itself, and we don't have a municipal water or sewer system, um, and we don't, you know, our landfill is small and, mm -hmm. you know, made for a very small community. And so we, we try and recycle as much as we can. We recycle all of our glass, all of our paper, all of our plastic, all of our metal. Um, we, you know, all the water that we use in the brewing process comes from mm -hmm. our property. And all the wastewater that we create, uh, we have to clean and get ready for reuse on our property. At the end of the, the process, treating, treatment process, it's, we use it for irrigation. Okay. Um, so it all goes back onto the property. So you have your own wastewater treatment facilities within your brewery? Yeah, we do. That's and fantastic. 100% of our wastewater gets treated by us and then uh, used as irrigation water back on the property. And, you know, all of our, a lot, not all of our waste, but the majority of our waste either gets recycled or reused in some way. I mean, all of our grain and mm -hmm. our, our spent hops and spent yeast uh, are taken by a farmer who uses it either, either as amendments to his soil or feed for his animals. That's a lot of really great programs, it sounds like, you have in place there. <laughs> yeah, we've got a few. I mean, a lot of breweries do the same thing, um, mm -hmm. but they, they have access to a municipal water system, or it is more uh, economic for them to throw things away as opposed to you know, saving and recycling it, or they don't have the space mm -hmm. to you know, save and recycle. We're very fortunate that we do have the space and a lot of the sustainable things that we do or the low impact things that we do are not just because they're low impact. They are obviously, there are economic advantages to doing them. Uh, the solar right. panels, for example, paid for themselves in the first two and a half or three years. And um, you know, now we're making us money as opposed to costing us money. And I think that's something that you know, is important. Mm -hmm. these, are, these are not done solely so that we can be green, to be honest. They are also, you know, there are economic reasons for doing them. Yeah, well that's the best situation where you can find a solution that makes economic sense and makes business sense that yeah. also has a positive impact on your overall footprint of your brewery. Yeah, like recycling all of our, you know, our plastic and our scrap metal and our, you know, our aluminum cans. By doing that, someone else takes it away and they often pay us for it, as mm -hmm. opposed to, you know, us paying to have someone else come up and take it away. Yeah. So I'm constantly, you know, trying to keep the employees, keep that in mind that, you know, if they, if they throw stuff away, that costs us money. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we don't, we don't want to spend money on throwing things away because most of the stuff can be recycled. So Anderson Valley also releases a lot of beer in cans. Was that driven by an ecological consideration, a market consideration, or some combination of? I think a combination, you know, to be honest. Um, there's some debate as to what's more ecologically friendly, the can mm -hmm. or the bottle. Um, you know, some brewers have been talking on the internet lately about how the can is not really ecological. And, uh, you know, it all depends on how you want to slice it up. The can is the most recycled, you know, mm -hmm. beverage container in the world. Um, I don't remember what the number is, but it's, you know, like 40 or 50 percent. Whereas yeah. bottles are much lower. And, you know, you have to look at all the things. You take a can and you huck it into the ocean, which I'm not advocating that one does. <laughs> it eventually disintegrates, you know, it, it, it breaks down. But you take a bottle and you huck it into the ocean, that bottle is there forever. You know, glass just doesn't break down. It doesn't break down in the landfill, it doesn't break down. And if it's not being recycled, you know, if you're getting a 15% recycle rate, that's all going to a landfill. 
Whereas cans, regardless of whether you know, they get recycled or not, but they do get recycled more, when they go to landfills, they actually do break down eventually. That's really interesting. And I think that you're right, what you said, where it depends on how you slice it up. Like, mm -hmm. what are your most important priorities when you're making that packaging decision? You know, is going to yeah. determine what's going to be the better choice. And, you know, glass is so much heavier than cans. Mm -hmm. The amount of, pe the additional amount of petroleum it takes to ship them to and away from any brewery, that's a real consideration. Um, you know, it takes more energy to create a can, true, than glass, but it takes less energy to recycle a can mm -hmm. and less energy to move them around. So, you know, it depends on how you slice it up. Yeah. Well, the beers you guys have in cans right now are really fantastic. I enjoy them on a regular basis. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> um, are you guys releasing any new beers in cans in, on the horizon? Yeah, we're going to do a lot more in cans. We're talking about doing some of our seasonals in cans. We already do okay. the summer and winter solstice in the can, uh, you know, and we do the hop out and the, the boomed amber. Mm -hmm. We did the stout for a seasonal, and we're going to oh, look at some okay. of the other ones, some of our uh, more unusual beers in cans. We'll look at different can sizes, too. We'll probably uh, experiment with a 16-ounce can, see how that does. Great. Well, I look forward to seeing those. Um, thank you so much for oh, joining us today, and enjoy thank the rest of the me. conference. Yeah, thank you.